Hey, what's going on, my name is uh, EPK, along with this channel. And today, I want to talk about well, my recent procurement of a 64 Mini. It's been why I bought one despite yet yeah, upgrading MK collection. Now, first, let me say I do understand there is a 64 collection coming to Evercade soon. Uh, I pre ordered the collection back when the pre orders first opened, uh, but let me explain why I bought a 64 Mini. Well, first of all, the 64 Mini was 40 quid. Uh, and I was on holiday, and I thought, you know, I want to get a system so I can play. I'd made the with me, obviously, but I want something new. I want an house to my collection to, to you know, play. Have a bit of fun. Games I hadn't played before, and games I hadn't heard of. So I grabbed this uh, little system, and you know, it was only, what, 40 quid, so that was uh, worth it to me. Second of all, I wanted to actually experience some of these games before the Evercade release, because obviously I've never really had a chance to play C64. You know, these things were released in the 80s, and what I was born in 2003 and by the time I, I was born and I was old enough to stop playing video games these were well off the market no one was making them anymore and Commodore had actually gone bankrupt many years prior so it is kind of disappointing so why did I get to see this for many well, I wanted to play the games I wanted to you know see what games I actually had on this for and obviously I also want to support a small company uh, Retro Games Limited obviously released the system you know so I thought hey grab one whilst it's cheap because so uh, they also released a me an Amiga one, and the Amiga one's like what, £120 currently. And I do intend to pick one of them up in the future when the price drops and they're not as expensive because this this system it's quite interesting to me. I, I do think the joystick needs a bit of work. It's just not the best. But there are tons of games on there, there's 64 games on it, which makes sense because it's 64. Although this is brings it makes it kind of funny to me because the, the Amiga they release is the A five hundred. And it doesn't have 500 games, so a little bit ironic marketing there. But uh, you know, I wanted to get this system to add to my collection as well. Because for those you don't know, I've been I traded off my PlayStation handhelds, and I bought a Mars system. And I thought you know I ain't really gonna buy many more of systems. And I bought this system because it was cheap. And I want to have a 64. I want to have a microcomputer in my collection. And yeah, that's what I decided to do. Now, you know, will I make videos in the future? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I was most focused on the case, so I may make this video, may not. Me, yeah, I just want to talk about this. And obviously, I'm hyped for the Evercade uh, collection that's coming in October. It's got 14 games on it, so you know, a few less than what's on this system. But I thought, hey, I'd pre order that collection as well because then obviously more money goes to this small company, as well as more. And in that case, money also goes to Blaze that actually license games and produce cartridges and systems. And it's all, it's all well and good. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you, own, do you own a C64 Mini? Do you want to own a C64 Mini? If so, you know why? What games would you wanna? Do you wanna play on it? What, what games on this system do you want to see come down? Okay, let me know. I'm I've been Ethan. I'm signing out. Peace.